as in the previous video we learned the equation of the x-axis now let's learn uh, the equation of y-axis all right it's very simple you you know you might be already knowing this but still let me tell you a little bit about y-axis uh, let, let's suppose we have the axis first this is our y-axis and let me say this is our x-axis okay this is our positive x-axis this is our negative x-axis this is our positive y-axis this is our negative y-axis this is our origin and now in the in the y-axis if you see anywhere suppose i'm going to write here point or i'm going to write here point anywhere if you write suppose this is the first section all right second section third section similarly a negative section one two like that so for how you write the point here we write like we're not moving in x direction right this is our origin which is zero comma zero so this is zero comma one and if you want to write this one it will be zero comma two this will be zero comma three and so on we go and similarly in the negative y-axis if you want to write then we write like 0 comma minus 1 and then we write 0 comma minus 2 and so on we write but every time you know what you're looking here that your x coordinate is going to be 0 every time whenever you're walking in this entire y axis right uh, whether you're going in negative y axis or you're going in positive y axis every time your x coordinate is going to be 0 every time whenever you're walking in the positive y axis or you're walking the negative y axis every time your x coordinate is looking zero all right so in y-axis what do we get every time x coordinate is zero so x equals to zero is only the equation of the y-axis if you want to prove this x equals to zero using two-point formula then uh, we can use the two-point formula uh, and that was like this if you have a point one uh, which coordinate is let's say any x1 y1 and another point we have let's say its coordinate is x2 y2 then that time we can use the two-point formula and two-point formula is something like this y minus y1 equals to y2 minus so y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 this this equation will give you the line which is passing through this 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 two points all right so what i'm i'm uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, imagine another figure all right uh, this is my x axis this is my y axis and i'm here supposing any point uh, any two point let's say this is point 1 whose coordinate is uh, 0 comma y1 and its coordinate is 0 comma y2 this is point 2 let's say all right and now we have the two point and let's find out the equation of the line which is passing through this two point using this two point formula okay so y minus y1 y1 is here y1 okay yeah y minus y1 equals to now y2 minus y1 y2 is y2 okay minus y1 again over x2 minus x1 so what is our x2 here see x2 is here 0 minus 0 all right 0 minus 0 and again x minus x1 and our x1 is here x1 is here 0 all right now see here this is 0 minus 0 that actually y minus y1 y minus y1 times this 0 minus 0 is going to multiply this all right and here we have uh, y2 minus y1 times x okay so this whole quantity is going to be zero and this y2 minus y1 this is this this is zero and this quantity i'm dropping down so i'll get what zero over y2 minus y1 that is x and this is actually zero equals to x so finally what we get x equals to zero this is the equation of the y-axis right